hey guys and happy tuesday so today i am part of the family diy hop and i'll have some more information about that and the giveaway a little bit later but i'm going to start my first diy using these wood pieces that i got from goodwill they were a dollar 99 and 75 percent off because that's the only time i really buy anything from there and initially i didn't really know what this was and then when i finally got it home and put it together i realized it's supposed to be like a little basket type thing but i saw a tic-tac-toe board so i'm going to be using these rings that i also these wood rings that i got from a thrift store my local thrift store and i also picked up the this the excuse me these little wood puzzle pieces and i'm going to be using these to make the x's so I didn't have enough pieces to make all of them exactly the same. So I de decided to make three, uh, three and three. So three of them are going to look the same and then three of them are going to look, you know, different or I guess the same. I don't know. But <laughs> um, because I didn't have enough pieces, I kind of had to improvise and I didn't really want to use Jenga blocks because I didn't make perfect X's. So this is what I came up with. So the pieces... Um, on the first X are just two long pieces that I glued together and then the other X's are going to be the smaller pieces and I'm going to be using the little wood cubes from the Dollar Tree to kind of um, use in the center and guys today I am so excited because this video is sponsored by Gorilla Glue and you guys know that I absolutely love Gorilla Glue it's really the only glue that I use and I was so excited when they reached out and um, wanted to collaborate with me and they sponsored this video. They sent me this new wood glue and guys, it is so good. It's a little bit thicker than like the regular wood glue, but it um, it's so easy to, to like to use and to work with and it gives you longer time to work with it. And it is a strong hold. Guys, I love it. It's a glue that is you know you can clean it with a towel and water it dries you know pretty well within about 20 minutes or so but to get obviously the strongest hold you have to wait you know the 24 hours to let it um to let it completely set but i'm going to be using my gorilla glue sticks along with this hot um what is this the wood glue and um, I'm going to be doing the combination now for this glue it definitely you definitely have to kind of make sure that you separate the wood glue and the hot glue because when they combine they do not it doesn't work well so definitely make sure that they don't touch and other than that it works amazing I love it I'm so happy that they were looking to collaborate with me and that they sent me these um, this wood glue so I will leave a link in the description box for the information about the wood glue and gorilla you know gorilla glue guys you know I love me some gorilla glue so I was way too excited when they reached out to me I didn't know what to do I thought it was a joke I didn't know I didn't know I didn't know what to do and I was just so excited but guys, this glue is amazing. And it's like a wood glue ultimate. And I used it on my second DIY as well. And you're going to be amazed because I didn't have to use any screws or anything. And it worked out amazingly. So to continue on with this DIY, I just went ahead and I made these X's I made three of each even though you only need five but I decided to make three because my kids lose stuff so here we go I have the six of them all glued together and you know situated and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the little hooks off of the wood the wood rings because they had some hooks I think they were like shower I don't know really don't know what they were one of them was missing there was supposed to be seven in the pack but there was only six which worked out great so i just went ahead took the little hooks off once i was done taking the hooks off i just took my sandpaper and i sanded off like the um where the little hole was of course it just left like a little bit of a a rough part so i you know sanded that down 
and I'll show you that here in a little bit. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and kind of take my um, sander and go over all of these pieces just to take just to even them out because they were all a little bit of a different color and I wanted this to be a natural wood. I didn't want to paint it or stain it or anything like that. I will um, go through once I'm done with everything and I'll put a seal on it because it's going to be outside sometimes. So I will put a sealant on there, but I'm not going to stain it or anything because I want that natural wood look for this piece. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of just sand through and I wanted to get that little decal or whatever that is, but it's wood burned in there. So I really couldn't get it off and I didn't want to like sand a hole or a, you know, divot in there. So I'm just, I just left it alone. But like I said, I'm just going to give it one good, you know, sanding over, take that top coat of whatever is on there and um, just clean it up, make it look nice and clean. And then once I was done doing that, I took the sandpaper off of my sander because it was torn. So I went ahead, took it off, and I used that to smooth out those wood rings. And I also used it to kind of get into the spots of the bigger wood pieces that um, were kind of rough. But I went ahead and did the same thing with my X's. And they were just a little bit rough. Nothing, you know, nothing too major. I just wanted to make sure everything was kind of smoothed out. So I just took that sandpaper, went over everything really quickly. And then once I was done doing that, I went ahead and um, I was debating whether I wanted to glue the tic-tac-toe board or the wood pieces together or not. So I did put it together and I just couldn't decide whether I wanted to glue it or not. And at the end, I decided not to glue it because then that way... I can um, store it easily. I can just take it apart and it'll store flat and it takes up less space and it'll be easier to store. So I decided not to glue it, but this is something you could easily make with some spare wood that you have, you know, sitting around the house, just kind of cut some pieces out and it would work great. So once I decided that I wasn't going to glue that, I went ahead and I took my X's and I spray painted those black. And, you know, that was pretty much it for this um, DIY. I thought it turned out really cute. And it's super functional. It'll be great for family, you know, game nights outside if we're going to do s'mores and stuff. And we'll have our little games and whatnot. And the pieces fit in there perfectly. And I, I think it, it's great. And it was so easy. And it, you know, barely cost me maybe $3 altogether if if that so yeah so that's all I did was you know did that and I'm just showing you how all the pieces kind of fit in there and how it works out well and you can set up a whole table and kind of just use it like that and I'm using one of these little buckets from the Dollar Tree to just put all the pieces in and that's where I will say you know set everything and put it away so yeah see here I am just disassembling it and that would be how I store it maybe get a little box and put it in there so guys today i am part of the family diy hop and it is hosted by Teresa b diy and she is doing a fundraiser that is associated with this hop and for the whole month of may all her proceeds from her views on the videos that she has posted are going to the fisher house i'll have all the information about fisher house and Teresa's channel down in my description box and this is a hop so I will have the next person in the hop in my description box as well so be sure to head on over and visit them and don't forget this is a giveaway hop so be sure to visit everybody and leave a comment and if you're coming over here from the hop thank you so much for stopping by I appreciate it and I hope you stick around and you know, just stick around with my crazy little family here. I do all kinds of DIYs and I enjoy getting to know you guys. So be sure to just leave a comment. And if you are one of my returning subscribers, you know, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. So guys, I found this checker chessboard wood piece at um, Goodwill as well. And I loved it. And I just went ahead, 
cleaned it up really really well because it was very dirty and um, kind of sanded it down in certain spots and I'm going to be using these little checker pieces from the Dollar Tree and they are pretty big pieces and they fit on this board perfectly and then an alternate alternate alternative if obviously you don't have a board like this is you can use the little plastic checkerboard that comes in this package and like glue it to a piece of wood or maybe if you're just going to have a table that you use for game night you can glue it to like a small card table or something like that and then you have yourself a cool checkerboard but that's just an alternative like I said but I'm going to be using this board because I love it and I'm looking for some chess pieces that would go with it as well but I haven't been able to find any that I like then I got these wood stakes from Dollar General they were a dollar each they're about three feet tall or three feet long I just took a zip some zip ties and I zip tied them together so that I could saw you know cut them shorter I think I cut them about a foot and a half maybe a little bit closer to two feet I didn't measure I just kind of looked at it and kind of went with it <laughs> but um, I'm gonna do the same combination of wood glue and hot glue and guys this held perfectly I didn't have to add any screws I wasn't sure whether it was gonna work or not but it worked great I didn't have to add anything um, I love it I absolutely love it now the only thing that I wish I would have done was use some thicker pieces of wood but this is all I had on hand and maybe once I find some bigger pieces or find some you know different ones that I like I'll switch them out but um, this is what I had on hand and it worked out perfect because it's not going to be a tall table so it didn't need to be anything super sturdy but this is actually really really sturdy just using this hot glue and this wood glue this wood glue is amazing I'm telling you guys so um, yeah that's all I did was went ahead and glued all the four legs onto the side of the um, on the sides of the table there well I'm turning it into a table technically I think this is just supposed to be like on top of a table but I'm turning it into a little table that way when we're having our family you know game nights and we're outside or even inside this would work inside the house as well but um yeah I just glued those and that's why I didn't stain the the legs just yet because I first of all I didn't have the the right color and second of all I do think that I want to switch them out at some point just because it looks kind of I don't know I didn't like exactly how it looked it wasn't the look I was going for but I couldn't find any other wood pieces that worked or that were the right size or that I had enough to make four legs out of so I had enough of this and it worked like I said it worked out well and it'll serve its purpose I just really really wanted to use this checkerboard and I thought you know family DIY hop was perfect for family game night and this is what I think of just kind of spending time with family we enjoy you know we don't get to do it very often but my kids like to you know have game nights especially my youngest one my youngest one would have a family game night every night if you let her <laughs> but yeah I just you know I think it's important to bond and do things like this so I thought this would be cool to just have outside my son likes to play chess maybe I'll be able to get him out of his room because we have a chessboard, you know, sitting out. And I do have a chessboard, but it is glass, so I didn't want to use that. So I figured the checkers would be perfect for outside. And we just put it into a little container. We you know put all the little pieces into a container and we'll just kind of set everything aside, you know, set everything together and game night comes, we just pull everything out. So I did put I ended up flipping this over and putting like a bunch of heavy stuff on top of it just to kind of let it set. But then once I let it set for 24 hours, this is what it turned out like. And guys, I love it. I think it's super cute. Don't mind the messy like front yard there, but we have all those little pinwheels or whatever you call them falling in. We can't keep up with them. So this is what they turned out like, guys. And don't forget to check the next, next person on the hop. Check out Fisher House and check out Teresa B. DIY. And until next time. 
Be blessed and be the reason someone smiles. Bye, guys.